Fleming. And I'm Mark Ordesky. Well, they start off as kids. Um, yeah, they, 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 we do call them paladins. They stay as paladins. I mean, paladins, it, it's, it is really a name that's sort of part of the Everrealm lore. Um, it's not exactly sort of the same thing that you would have in other, other uh, mo modalities. So uh, it, rather than soldier or yeah, this is um, this is uh, this iteration of the quest is a is a much more sophisticated, scripted, unscripted story device. Yeah. Uh, the scripted content exists both as it integrates with the reality and in its own trajectory. If that makes sense. And then this, the reality sort of weaves through that, and then there's an intersection point, which I won't ruin. Um, but really, towards the end, they really become one, one adventure that and everybody's are, on. And there, are, and there are moments of, of spontaneity where mm -hmm. certain scripted things that you know some paladins might notice and others might not notice. So there's there's little kind of like audibles that kind of can happen sometimes. You know, when the scripted characters, when there are interactions, things that we couldn't have predicted. And and we've we've dropped. You know, it's, it's like going to a foreign country, right? You get dropped into the foreign country. It happens to be ever Rome, and you have to figure out what is this world, who are these people, what's my role in it, and so some of that's explained to them, but some of it is they're trying to figure it out along the way. Who's good? Who's bad? Is there romance? Um, what do we do? You know, what's expected of us? Are we winning? Are we losing? Are we doing it right? Um, it's all that. So it's, it's, I really think it's like being dropped into a country you don't really know how to speak the language of. So we, um, we have partners, uh, uh, Eric, Eric Newman and Candace Lee, who worked um, mostly with Mark and I, at least initially, to establish the world and the stakes and the, 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 the main characters and where we wanted to take the main scripted characters, what, 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 what's their end game and their arcs. And then, um, and then we worked all as a team with Disney to make sure that the, the, the storyline of the scripted was compelling and fun. And then the kids came in, we cast the kids and dropped them into this. And then what's fun is that they actually start influencing some of the stuff that we had planned, uh, you know, without without us knowing, and that's the magic of it. Yeah, because there are different scripted characters who, because of their arcs and how they're designed, are trying to achieve variations on different goals. And as the more and more the paladins interact with them, they start to observe and influence and affect these goals, which have unpredictable results. Um. Well, I mean, scripted. But we're we're from the scripted role, right. of course. Um, it's controlled. You know what's going to happen. Uh, it happens on a time frame. You can stop when there are mistakes. You can stop down and, and say, okay, let's do it again. Um, with this show, there there is there wasn't always that opportunity. There was windows where we would shoot just the scripted characters, and we would treat it like a normal movie or television series, and we'd have lots of takes and coverage and all that. And then we had the 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 when the kids were there, it was one take. It was live. And was, so if somebody messed up, you rolled with it. You just it. rolled with it. And if it was going badly, you just rolled with it. Like if it was goofy and not working, you just kept going with it. And, um, and then of course the challenges were competition. So that was one, one time only. Um, so it was, it, it is, it's faster. <laughs> it's, at the end of the day, you're like, woof. You know, you really run the gamut, um, and, 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 and it lacks control. You, you don't always get the results you thought you were going to get. But you sometimes get surprised in really positive ways, sometimes not so positive. <laughs> it's incredibly hard. fun. As producers, I mean, we really enjoy the process. Um, we are scripted producers, as we've yeah. said. It's fun to play with real people, and um, the teenagers were really... You fall in love, right? So when they have pain, you feel it. When they're, you know, when they succeed, you feel it. So. We had a casting group that went all across the country, and they fanned out to, to, to places where people who love fantasy might be. They were at the cons, they were at Ren Fairs, they got the word out, they went to drama clubs, they like went all over the country and found 
young people who had a deep passion for the genre and who um, were, you, you t- mentioned, extroverted, yeah. right? that they could, they could weather a bunch of cameras staring at them and, and, and to compete against each other. And people who had values that we thought, that we and thought a one true hero of every realm would have. Um, so that it would make sense why the fates called upon these eight. Right. Yeah, it was fun. No. Nothing. Nothing. The goal here is to have authentic reactions. So we told them nothing. They knew nothing. They didn't know where they were going. No, no. Uh, they knew that they were going to be on a show called The Quest. Um, and that involves fantasy. Us, and it involves fantasy in some fashion. Um, that was it. That's all they knew. Nothing. No, no training. They did all the training for the show in within the show. We filmed all of the training. Some of it gets in. Some of it doesn't. Um, all of it was just, here you go. And it was after a year of them being quarantined. So it was a very interesting, uh, I'm sure if, if, when you get your hands on them at some point, you should ask them because I'm sure it was a really incredibly intense and wonderful experience. Weds on, <laughs> or, you know, like. Oh um, we don't. We have, we have ideas, we would, you know, let, let's hope it's a global hit and we can make another season. We have lots of ideas on how to complicate the experience, whether it's teenagers or adults, it doesn't matter. Um, but we have yeah. lots of fun ideas on how to even take something that's this ambitious and make it even more ambitious. Um, that's the part that we get really excited yeah. about. So and that as we go in seasons, people aren't retreading. Yes, for sure. That's exactly right, and that's you know where we were really aligned with Disney um, Plus and Disney branded television is that's what they want too. Yeah, um, they're this is the first show in a series of shows that will play in this territory of pushing storytelling further. Yeah, and and taking changing what reality means. So yes, you'd have to talk to Disney about that, but that's our understanding. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and we have a few ideas that we're going to... Yeah, we have our own ideas. But yeah. Um, But yeah, they're they're very much invested in this space. This is something they really want to do, and the quest is their first at bat. I mean, really, the most... The age age of the Paladins was not so much the big difference. It was really what Jane said. We really just wanted to be more ambitious. We wanted to be more ambitious in how we integrated the scripted and the unscripted elements. That was really the most, that was the thing that we really wanted to do. And, and, and it takes a minute in this series to have that full integration yeah. because we were um, afraid that people wouldn't believe it. <laughs> um, I think that if we got another at bat, we would push that faster. Uh, because it's so believable once it happens. Um, of course, that's what would happen if you fully integrated. Um, so there really wasn't much difference. I mean, you're still asking people to, to transcend themselves and be heroic. Yeah. And whether that's kids or adults or, you know, I think it's all the same human desire, right? We all, we all want to be, we all want to transcend ourselves. Um, and that's why we watch all these movies and television, and and so I think it. it I felt like the experience was quite similar. Yeah. You know what? We're going to know more about that. We're going to be sitting down with um, the Disney team at large. This is the launch. This is just you know May 11th. Yay! Everybody tune in. Right. Um, uh, so we will we'll be exploring all of that stuff. We we have every hope. We have every hope. But the, the, the quest in Everrealm at large has a really lovely fandom and you know a lot of fan fiction and fan extensions and we're hoping that this will um, have the exact same effect. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, of course. Thank you.